Now, everybody who's watching, let's get RBT the 1 million subscribers by Christmas. He's the best Madden scientist there is. I subscribe to him. And if you don't subscribe to, your favorite team is going to lose to the I'm not saying that team. Oh, I wonder who's calling the mad lad. Is that Mia Khalifa, Summer Rae, Jennifer Anderson? I'm sure he's got all of them in his phone. This man needs no introduction. Just pop that scientific cap on him. You know, when you see Mr. Bubbles, you know some Madden science is about to occur. And today, I don't know, I guess some Madden science is about to occur. As here on Madden 20, I thought this was a pretty interesting idea. As I have compiled all of the rookies for the upcoming NFL season, took the best of the best rookies, put them on one team. We're going to sim through their first contracts, which is going to be four years, and see how a full team of 2020 NFL rookies would do how they progress throughout the first few years since it's like basically first and second and third round picks all in one team with this team like in three four years when they get some experience win a Super Bowl today we shall find out and the ratings that we have the rookies at right now I think are going to be extremely accurate and a very very close to what they're going to be in Madden 21 so you'll be able to kind of see what you can expect out of the Madden 21 ratings for all of the rookies now fortunately this is me after the fact after the video is done being recorded Recorded. And unfortunately, I do have to say the franchise like completely glitched out and after the end of the first season All the rookies like disappeared I've never seen such a thing in my entire freaking life and it took us like an hour and a half to get the rookies on the team in the first place Unfortunately, I I'm not gonna redo it like no But I did want to come on here and say this because we only get one season out of today's video instead of like the full four I was expecting to do so that kind of sucks But we still do get to see at the end of the day how a team of new NFL rookies would do on one team this upcoming NFL season with the most up-to-date roster so all the roster moves are exactly how they're gonna be in real life so it's basically like Madden 21 rosters with all the rookies on one team once again I apologize about that we still get some science out of today's video but it's not the, the complete experiment that we did want so for that what a stinker what an absolute stinker we've had today I hope you guys do enjoy today's episode of some Madden science and if you do make sure to smash that like button and make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you have it because it's extremely extremely important that you do subscribe because before the launch of Madden 21, we're going to be doing a huge Madden 21 giveaway. We're giving away at least two copies on the Xbox One and two copies on the PS4. But if and only if we do hit 600k subscribers by the launch of Madden 21, we're going to be giving away five copies on Xbox One and five copies on PS4. A total of 10 copies, but that's if and only if we do hit 600k by the launch of Madden 21. We're like 50-ish K away, so that's extremely possible. You guys are mental. You guys are wild. You'll watch me for some reason. So make sure to subscribe so we can give away 10 full copies of Madden 21. The value of what? What's 10? That's like $700? That's a lot of money. <laughs> that, that might take back on that offer, but no. With that said, first bit of business, what we do need to do is go over today's team, the depth chart, so you guys can see the team and the rookie rating. Joe Burrow coming in at a 76 overall, Tua at a 75, and Justin Herbert at a 71. Wouldn't be surprised if Tua's was like more like a 73, 74, but this is about accurate as it's gonna be. And depending on how these rookies progress, I mean, Tua could overtake Joe Burrow, become the starter. We'll have to see how these three, four years do go for these rookies. In the running back position, DeAndre Swift coming in at a 78 overall. Rookie running backs are always a little bit higher rated than some of the other positions, so I can fully expect this. Mr. Clyde at LSU at a 76 overall. Jonathan Taylor from Wisconsin at a 75. And J.K. Dobbins out of Ohio State at a 75 as well. At fullback, we don't have a fullback because what fullbacks get drafted? At wide receiver, we have Henry Ruggs at a 77, Jerry Judy at a 77, C.D. Lamb at a 76, and Jalen Rigor at a TCU at a 75, Justin Jefferson 75 as well, Brandon Ayuk at a 75, and a couple other receivers like T. Higgins and Michael Pittman Jr. At tight end, we have Cole Komet at a 74, well, I guess that's how you say his name, Devin Asiasi at a 72, and Harrison Bryant at a 71. At left tackle, we have Andrew Thomas, a first round pick out of Georgia at a 74, Mekhi Becton 73, and Jedrick Willis at 73 as well. At left guard, we don't have a left guard, but one of those left tackles will play left guard. At center, we don't have a center, but one of those left tackles will play center. At right guard, we have Cesar Ruiz at a 72 out of Michigan, and at right tackle, Tristan Wirfs at a 71 out of Iowa. We have Isaiah Wilson, a Tennessee Titan at a 70 overall. Now moving on to this rookie defense, at left end, we have AJ Epineza at a 75 out of Iowa. We have Clavon Chasen at a LSU at a 74. And Khalid Kareem at a Notre Dame at a 71. At right, then we have Chase Young, who I'd be willing to bet my entire bank account will end up being the highest rated rookie at the start of Madden 21. He comes in at 81 overall. I expect that to be about spot on. 81 
80, maybe even 82. He's going to be an absolute monster. I think he might even get up to the 90 overalls by the end of today's video. Like I said, we're going to do four seasons, get to the rookie contract. Yeter Gross Matos at the 74 out of Penn State. And Drell Taylor at a Tennessee at a 72. At D tackle, we have Derek Brown out of Auburn, a top 10 pick, 78 overall. Javon Kinlaw out of South Carolina at a 77. And Marlon Davidson also out of Auburn at a 74. At outside linebacker on the left side, Isaiah Simmons, who I think also, he'll probably be number two, I think. I think he'll be at 80, maybe a 79. And then I think Chase Young will be like one or two overall higher than him. We have him at the starter at a Clemson. And Willie Gay Jr. at a Mississippi State at 72. On the inside at middle linebacker, we don't have any one of those outside guys who will play middle linebacker. And then Josh Uche out of Michigan, 71 overall on the right side. Now, cornerback Jeff Akuda, 78 overall out of Ohio State. Christian Fulton at LSU, 73. And Jeff Gladney at a TCU, 72. Free safety, Antoine Winfield Jr. out of Minnesota at a 72. At strong safety, Jeremy Chin at the 71. Kicker, we have Justin Rohrwasser, I guess, out of Marshall. And at punter, we have Braden Mann at a 70 overall. Now, with that said, my dudes, time to simulate to the end of season number one and see if the entire rookie class of 2020 combined into one team could actually make the playoffs in the rookie season. Don't expect so, but I'm excited. <laughs> So I just had to interrupt the video with, with some breaking stuff. Like, what the fuck is this? Literally 70% of you that watch my freaking channel aren't subscribed, dude. Like, all you gotta do is click the guy ding button. Did my video suck that bad? So unfortunately, this rookie class did not make the playoffs in season number one. Now, they are up to a 80 overall, so the team went up by about three or four overall. Now, if we do look, they went seven and nine, which is almost double the wins of the Vikings. And on par with the Lions, the Packers ran away with the division. Best record in the league ends up going to the Packers at 14 and two. So we kind of got screwed there. Now, I'm not going to necessarily do this every single year, but I do want to see who kind of got the biggest upgrades this first season. Joe Burrow was 79. DeAndre Swift up to an 80. Henry Ruggs and Jerry Judy both up to a 79. It looks like the offensive line didn't progress that much. I mean, a little bit, but not way too much. Now, on defense, it looks like we had nobody really go up way too much. Isaiah Simmons up to an 83. Derek Brown up to an 80. Chase Young up to an 83 as well. Jeff Okuda also up to an 80, but nobody really had a huge season. I expected Chase Young to have a little bit more of an upgrade up to 83, but I mean, an okay first season. I mean, you can't complain about a team of rookies going 7-9. Now, I do want to check out their statistics, see who did win the Rookie of the Year. We had the 16th best offense in this first season. And then defensively, we had one of the worst defenses. Now, yearly award, do we have anybody come to the top 10? That's hilarious. Cam Newton wins the MVP. But it looks like we did not have anybody come in the top 10. Now, Rookie of the Year actually technically does go to Joe Burrow, Offensive Rookie of the Year in the NFC. And we have DeAndre Swift up there, C.D. Lamb, and Henry Ruggs, and Jerry Judy. Now, defensively goes to Willie Gay. Let's go, Mr. Mr. Gay. Isaiah Simmons also in the top 10, but no Chase Young in his first season. Looks like Joe Burrow did have a pretty decent season. 4,400 yards, 32 touchdowns, did throw 16 picks. The offensive line wasn't great, allowing 48 sacks. Running the football, DeAndre Swift, only 738 yards. It looks like Mr. Clyde had a couple carries as well. For catching the football, Henry Ruggs, 1,000 yards with six touchdowns. And then CeeDee Lamb led the team with 10 total touchdowns through the air. Defensively, Willie Gay led the team with 105 tackles. Most sacks goes to AJ Epineza. What happened to Chase Young? Well, throw out the freaking results immediately. God dang Browns won the Super Bowl. What a god dang freaking stinker, dude. I, I can't even stretch this video out to 10 minutes. Therefore, I'm going to make like probably $20 in the entire video. Thanks a lot to Madden Glitches. Love it. Love this game. But I can't sit here and think of what to say for the next minute and a half. So I'll just go ahead and take this freaking L.